Hey guys, it's Bait. Thanks so much for supporting me and watching the deep dive analysis on 5up's new Submerge map. With the map only 24 hours away, I wanted to publish this video to go through 10 things you might have missed the first time round. At number 10, we have the fact that there is a second trailer that a lot of people haven't seen. Only 4.2 thousand people have viewed this trailer. It's on Silence HD's channel. It's an official trailer, second trailer, and we see an elevator on the right side of the map. Looks like a service elevator. So that's pretty cool. And the other cool thing about this trailer is it confirms that it will be released privately to backers, including 5up and those streamers on June the 25th. But importantly, it will actually be releasing publicly for free exclusively on polis.gg in late July. Um, of note, they don't actually put a year here, but we would assume that it means July 2021, which means that it'll be out in a month's time. And how are you going to access it? Well, I would go to polis.gg. Um, the website, some parts are still um, not up and running, but what you should do is join their Discord server um, with this link here. Um, I'll also put it in the description, discord.gg slash polis, or you can download the Town of Us mod over here as well. And number nine, a lot of people are wondering how many Y tasks there are. Because to be fair, it does look a bit complicated. Is that a uh, is that wires task? Seriously. Is that is there just going to be one of those? Uh, I won't tell you. I'm not telling anything <laughs> about the map. Oh, uh, okay. Among Us Academy, thanks for the sub. This trailer, so that trailer so looks sick. If you have questions that I think I can answer, I will. If not, I'm going to keep it secret. Technically, the answer can be found in the trailer itself because you can note that the fixed wiring is zero out of three, indicating that it will be a three-stage task, just like it is on every single other map. That hasn't stopped many people in the comments memeing that the streamers feel like it should be a single task instead of three separate wire panels. The other thing you might have missed is how the oxygen sabotage actually works. So if we go through that again, it's very subtle, but if you're like me, the first time you watch this, so if I up clicks the use button, I thought this number here was actually indicating how many seconds there were until the sabotage goes off completely and everyone dies from asphyxiation. But on re-watching it, uh, thanks to some awesome comments on the video I posted, they've actually pointed out this actually indicates a number of masks available for use. So it might actually be limited to seven on the top floor and seven on the bottom floor, for example. Because if you look at five up, he takes a mask and the number goes down. And you also note that it takes less than six seconds for everyone to die. Again, proving that this number is not a second counter, but an indicator of how many masks are left. The fact there should be four seconds left means it definitely isn't a timer, the seven turning to a six. Instead, it's an indicator of how many masks are left in that box. That leads us to the next question, which is how many masks are in each box on the top floor and the lower floor? And is that number gonna differ depending on how many players are left in the game? I feel like it will. Maybe I would personally go N, where N is the number of alive players minus two for each floor would be interesting, but we shall see. Leave a comment below on how you think the number of masks in the storage box will be calculated. That brings me on to the seventh thing that I want to point out, which is this oxygen sabotage and whether or not it actually affects imposters. Because on other maps, such as Mirror HQ and the Scout, when the oxygen goes off and the whole place is depleted of oxygen, well, the imposters win, suggesting by law, maybe they have something in their genetic makeup that allows them to survive without oxygen. However, like NG in the comments pointed out, the developer Flips actually appears as imposter in all the other scenes. For example, over here, they're hiding in the vent. Over here, they kill Tuna. And in this scene, they come and just slice in broad daylight in the lift. So assuming Flips is an imposter through all this filming um, and they care about continuity, then if you look carefully here, you'll notice Flips is over here as well. And flip dies. So that is a bit of circumstantial evidence to suggest that Imposted would also be vulnerable to the oxygen sabotage if they don't get a mask in time.
Let us know in the comments if you agree or not. The sixth thing that I'd like to mention is there will be a little Easter egg for all the major contributors in this map. For example, Steve's gonna have a little rat next to the cameras. But the only one that I can actually see in the trailer is this little five up collectible or plushies. Um, it looks very similar to the one that he has officially made available. I'd just like to also give a shout out to all the devs. Um, thank you for actually commenting on this video. <laughs> Apparently I got pretty close. Um, according to a couple of the comments here, nice analysis, you're a bit closer to the truth than others. And well, you did pretty well. Um, apparently this video got shared around the dev team. So thank you so much. Um, it means a lot reading every single one of these comments, but someone else who's also made analysis video who will go through another five things that I even missed is tax. So you can check out his channel on original tax, um, on YouTube link will be in the description. And he even made a five up submerged trailer analysis, what you need to know before I did. It'll mean a lot to both of us if you check out his channel after this video and make sure you click that subscribe button because he makes a lot of great content. Anyway, take it away, Tax, and let us know what other things we might have missed. Hey, Bay. Thanks you for the introduction and um, hello, everybody. I want to make sure this is actually well constructed and I want to point out the things that I unfortunately missed on my video, but that's not uh, really a much bigger of a deal because we will be able to um, uncover everything here um, part from part. I am so confident we will. So uh, right off the bat, I want to start strong because I feel like this is a connection that I didn't have the time to do when I released my video quite specifically because um, um, this teaser came out uh, quite a bit later so, as I released it. But I think it's really important to understand how uh, exclusive this trailer has been and how limited these teasers have been uh, in parts of rooms. I feel like people are um, maybe some people will interpret th this trailer as like being really, really, um, really like... Uh, showing the whole map, but I don't think that's really the case. I think they're showing really limited rooms and they're reusing almost every room, I'm pretty confident. So uh, this, the pipe pressure on task, the pipes task, is actually the same room that you can get uh, on the submerged trailer analysis. You see this, um, the, the, the trailer that polos.gg uh, released on, on the page, uh, really pretty much it's the same room. You, you can see the same elevator, you can see the, um, when you see when you see the elevator go down, there it is. It's the same, um, it's the same room. So you can see there. You, you have the two entrances below. Now I do want to make sure, like uh, you don't see the name on any of these, so we we don't really have a lot of indicators up to what this room exactly is, which is unfortunate. But I mean, I guess that that's just how the how the thing is supposed to go. Um. Now I want to talk about uh exclusively some more of the things. At number four, which I think it's really important for everyone to understand, is this thing right here. I don't think I don't think I ever touched about this. I didn't even notice. Um, the information that I might give is not necessarily confirmed, but I think, uh, and a lot of people might be speculating this as well, is that this has to be a vent from top to bottom, or from bottom to top. I don't think this is a task. It wouldn't really make any sense. It kind of looks like I think they like you know it has like a little tape like on the top that you can take out and then you go like it looks like a vent it looks like a vent and people might be able to see you from outside of it same mechanic that other vents have but this i'm pretty confident this is, has to be a vent from top to bottom and bottom to top now i would like to um give the next point which i think it's extremely important um to understand and it's that five up and his team have only shown limited areas, but uh, from top and bottom, specifically bottom, actually. This is something I got completely wrong on my video, and I want to uncover this a lot more deeply because they got everything, almost everything from bottom. You see this first scene, right? And you might you might think, well, yeah, that's the first scene. And I, I said this was going to be like a main hall type deal, but um, it, it's just about looking at the names, right? You have you, you have engines and you have um you have electrical you have security right you know we know that security is on the same level right and if, if we go to cameras we know that um there are three cameras for the left side and there are four for the right side um if the floors were to be the same i would believe security is also on the lower side and there is no cameras on security hence why there's only three below and four above right 
makes a total up to seven when in reality camera should be the same like the camera should be the same you see four up but then you see three down so i am confident that this means that security is on lower level also more evidence to back this up is um, especially needed to the fact that you have all these um well, you have security you have engine which is now now we know that engine is connected to the lower level if we use the same logic so engine security electrical is also on lower based on the cameras as you can see there we see electrical up here so electrical is also lower the only thing i'm pretty sure we've seen from upper is upper central and cafeteria as far as i'm aware that's everything because then you have all of this i mean engine room electrical like i'm telling you they have only shown a couple things as a matter of fact the uh, lower lobby is pretty much the only new room they have been showing um, so maybe just about four or five rooms of the entire map has been shown. So interesting how they're using their their uh, resources. I want to talk about maybe not something that you would have missed, but rather something that I think theorizing about would be good, essentially um, how to solve this task. Um, it is inevitable to think and understand that Fiverr probably did this as a um, safe or fall task, I guess, in which streamers are going to have a lot of issue going through this so i would especially recommend so this is obviously going to play like where's my water right i would recommend you see that these pipes on the both extreme sites they have this blue line that obviously means that these are the things that you need to connect right so i would recommend to so you know how these squares represent one pipe at a time i would recommend to solve one pipe from down one pipe from up one pipe from down one pipe from up why because this essentially means that you will be able to be solving everything and then connect everything to the middle, which I think the middle is the part where people are going to get lost at. If you're going to solve from one side and then get the other side not connected, you're going to end up wasting more time. So I would recommend you guys start do one from below, one from above, one from below, one from above. That way you might be able to do this even faster. And I don't think you have that much issue uh, completing this task, to be honest. And now the last thing I really want to talk about is um i don't think i really mentioned this uh anytime and it's this l2 and l1 button this is the complete and final indicator that complements my other point this says that this is lower level because it's level two as if in like down now this might not make sense to a lot of you to say that you know this level means that it's you know down but when you guys look at the teaser right here you guys should be able to see that it says level one. And then as soon as it connects to down, it says level two. So, and I mean, also the, the animation of the elevator is going down. So we have an insurance that level two means lower and level one means above. Okay. Now this has to be a button inside the elevator to keep the elevator up and down. So people inside the elevator could potentially stack bodies as long as they just keep the elevator busy. Okay, I don't know if the elevator would go out with any comm sabotage. I don't think it would, but I just wanted to point this out because I don't think anyone actually pointed this out um, later. I actually said in my video that I don't think there would be a button outside the elevator to like manipulate from inside, but there is. And um, it would be really interesting to see how this would play out normally because you have a button inside. It's kind of like manipulating the doors inside decontamination on polis. So again you have that the elevator arrives you see l201 this is probably the button that you press i mean i'm pretty sure this button to the right side is the one that you would press from outside to call it um i i guess it works both ways here because you also have the same panel up here um to call it from outside but l1 l2 should definitely be a button that would serve the cause to call the elevator from inside and would help imposters to um stack bodies like this now, I am pretty sure that's almost everything I have to cover. Um, for last but not least, this is not really a point, but I really wanted to say a thank you for 5up and his whole community uh, of devs and uh, artists to pull this project forward. I believe this is a big opportunity to show the whole community that we together, we can make big things like these. We are united and I want to show, and I'm so glad 5up has shown that the Among Us community is full with skilled artists and skilled people that are able to pull these things. Um, so thank you, Five Up, and his dev team, and his artists, and his coders, and animators so much because 
I, I am sure the whole community is really thankful for this, even though I would recommend everyone to um to watch Five Up Stream when the map releases to support this because this I'm pretty sure means a lot to him and it should mean a lot to us as well as members of the community. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one.